Hello guys and welcome back to the shop. Today's subject is something that is going to be fun to do, very useful, and will save you money. Okay, welcome back. So, what we're going to discuss today is under hood work lights. If you like working on your car, like I do, you realize that when you're working under the hood of your car, there's just never enough light. It's like a black hole. No matter how much light you put on it, it always needs more. Just to get to that one area where you can see what you need to do. Well, for that, they make what are called under hood work lights. And there's a whole bunch of them out there that are, you know, some are good, some are not so good. I'll put up some images so you can see what I'm talking about. For those of you who may not know when, what an underhood work light is, I'll put up an image. And these can be quite convenient when you're working under the hood of the car, and then you can use supplemental lights to light up a given area aside from the general light that these put down. And like I said, there's a lot of good ones out there, but they're not very inexpensive. Uh, they're very expensive, actually. Uh, most of the ones I've seen are 60, 100, 150, and probably above that. So they're kind of pricey. And it's something that you don't want to spend a lot of money and then regret it later because it doesn't do what you need it to do. And it doesn't light up the way you want it to do. Or it breaks down and fails within a few months, whatever the case may be. Uh, unless you know a specific light, a specific brand, something you have experience with, it's always a gamble when you're buying something that you don't know uh, how well it's going to work out or not. So I've thought about getting one many, many times, and I've generally thought about getting the one at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has one, and I'll put up an image for that. And uh, that one is generally around $40 for the most part, sometimes a little cheaper if it's uh, on sale with a coupon. Um, I think you can use a 20% off on that, either coupon sale or coupon 20% off. The problem is it's gotten quite a few negative reviews. And um, knowing Harbor Freight stuff, I'm not sure about that one. $40 and negative reviews, I'm not too comfortable with it. So I started thinking what would be a good alternative. Oh, and one problem that I also ran into is that most of the lights that I've seen on the internet are anywhere from three to five pounds. Three to five pounds is quite heavy. If you don't know what five pounds feels like, go to the kitchen and grab a bag of sugar. Most of them come in five and 10 pound increments. Grab a five pound bag. You'll see it's relatively heavy. So having a five pound anything pulling down on the hood of your car, because these things hang from the hood of the car, pulling down on the hood of the car, that's a lot of weight. And I'm not really very comfortable with that. So I decided to kind of put something together that was lighter, less expensive, and would do the same job. And here's what I came up with. An LED T8 bulb, T, well, T8 light, all in one. It basically is all one unit. You can see the end here, it is all one, it's a lamp. It's a lamp, bulb, everything, all in one, and it's four feet long. I don't know if I can get the other side in here. You see, it's all four feet long. And this does a fantastic job for under the hood uh, lighting. And I'm going to show you that in a minute on the car itself. So these bulbs are readily available on the internet or maybe at your local Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you want to go get it. They're very light. I mean, this thing is feather light. I would say six to eight ounces, something like that. At the worst, if I'm wrong, maybe one pound max, maximum one pound. It is super light. There's nothing in here, just a bunch of LEDs and a couple of resistors and the plastic so that it diffuses the light and you get good light distribution under the hood. So this is a fantastic alternative. And the best part is, I mean, I already said it's an alternative. It's good. It's lightweight and it's economical. You can get one of these on the internet for under $10. Shop around, look at Amazon, look at eBay, look at brick or mortar, brick and mortar stores, shop wherever you want. You can get one of these for under $10 if you shop around. And a lot of times with free shipping. 
So it's really a fantastic deal. Why spend $40 at Harbor Freight, which is the cheapest one, when you can make your own for under 10 bucks? This is a fantastic deal. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, okay, that's a great idea. The only problem is, how do I put this under the hood? The other ones kind of come prepared for using under the hood. Well, I'll help you there. Don't worry about it. I got a solution for you. First, let me explain for those that may not know. The other ones, the, the regular under hood work lights, generally come with either magnets on the back, which, remember, magnets only work with ferrous material. So in other words, steel hoods. Now, most modern cars are not using steel anymore. They're trying to cut back on weight, so a lot of the hoods are either made out of composite, fiberglass, or aluminum. In all those cases, magnets will not work. So magnets are useless. So you have to find some way to hook onto it. A lot of the uh, shop lights that you can buy have what are like arms like this that stick out, they ratchet out, and you attach them to the sides of the hood. Now, eh, that may work okay. I've always had my fear about them either scratching up the side of the hood or sliding down, up and down the hood some way over time and possibly causing damage. So I personally am not comfortable with that. If you are, that, that's great, but I never really liked that design. And uh, the problem is some hoods also, those don't work well with those. Uh, some hoods are tapered, like uh, on my truck, for example, second generation uh, Ram 1500. The hood is tapered. It starts off at a given size at the back, and it tapers off towards the front. So those would not be able to grab it very well. Also, the hood tapers from top the bottom if you go from the top of the hood and it tapers down like that like a clamshell so those things would not grab onto it very well those the the, the grabby part the C clamp let's call it works better with a flat hood where it can grab onto that and stay there so all those have drawbacks but I found one solution that will not cost you a penny it is very easy to do and will work on every single hood out there Okay, let's go over to the car and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, here we are under the hood of my Mustang. And I'm not showing you the light just yet. I'm going to pan up and show you that in just a minute. But I wanted to show you the light uh, as it's turned off. Right now, this is just my garage light doing its work. And as you can see, it's okay. But as you get further under the hood of the car, it gets darker. So here is the shop light that I have on here. And it is turned off currently, but just like I wanted to show you, first of all, like I said, this is a T8 replacement bulb, but it's an LED, so it is not incandescent. And the way I hooked it up, oh, and by the way, these do come in, this is a four-foot bulb, but they do come in one, two, three, four, and eight size increments. So you can get whatever is convenient for you. A four-foot will go from end to end on any hood. If you want to get smaller, then that's your choice. But the, the way I found to mount it is to use bungee cords. Yes, you can get these free from Harbor Freight anytime and use some bungee cords to hold it up. Now, every car that I have ever worked on always has these holes under the hood. Always. I don't know if it's a production thing or what it is, but they always have holes under the hood. So it's easy just to take the bungee cord and mount it into there. And the convenient part is you can rotate the light however it suits your needs by doing this. It's not going to fall out because the hook is inside the hole and you hook it this way so that it is tight onto itself. So you can pull out, you can move it, you can do whatever you want. It will not go anywhere. And yes, this is not battery operated. It does use a cord which I will hook up in a minute and I'll show you the light and I hook it up to my overhead reel which I show in another video how to make one of these and it's very very convenient to have uh, electricity above your head so you don't need to go tripping around with cords on the ground so I'm gonna plug this in in a minute and show you how it works but this is the back of the light and you can see right here the front of the light how it hangs right there right above your work area and it's very, very convenient. I'll light it up in just a moment, but I know when I do, it's probably going to be very shiny and not show up well on the camera. 
So, let me light that up. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And I'm showing you the engine lit up by the LED work light. And as you can see, it gets very, very shiny and blurry and probably not showing very well on here, but I'll do my best. Anyway, it lights up the area perfectly. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn off the garage lights, okay? So that you'll be able to see how well it works all by itself. Now, let me turn off the garage lights, and there you go. Look how bright that is. And obviously, if you need to get down deep into the bowels down there, you use a supplemental light. But if you're working on it up here, it is very, very convenient, very bright. It lights up very nicely. Let's see right there. Oh, that's way too bright. You can't see anything right. But it lights up everything very nicely. And I'm in a dark garage. Obviously, I'm going to have the lights on when I'm working. But look at that. That one bulb all by itself, this light that I have is 25 watts, and it puts out about uh, 3,500 lumens. And the one from Harbor Freight only puts out 845, 47 lumens, something like that. So from 800 and change, from 800 lumens to 3,000 lumens, that's a big, big difference. If this light is not enough for you and you want more, then obviously buying the Harbor Freight would be a mistake. Because that one would give you even less light. So this is a powerful, inexpensive alternative to under the hood work light. Let me turn the garage lights back on and you'll see how together they work very nicely because you're using it as a supplement. You're not using it as your only source of light. You can see now the garage lighting helps to light up everything else very nicely. So if you're looking for an under hood lighting, check out these LED T8 replacement bulbs and don't get just the bulb, get the integrated one. The one that comes with the lamp housing and everything. And you can use this to light up under the hood of your car, use some free bungees from Harbor Freight, put it up there yourself, rotate it around. You can move it around wherever you want and you won't scratch up your paint, you won't damage your car's interior, uh, whatever, wherever you decide to use it. You can move this and use it inside the car if you want to. I mean, look how easy it is to hang up here. Imagine any place else. If you want to put magnets and stuff on it, you want to put some brackets on it, go right ahead. If it helps you out, do whatever works best for you. This is my solution, and I find it very, very convenient. So for under 10 bucks, you can get yourself your own LED underhood work light and have a very powerful one because it's stronger than any of the ones I saw on the internet. So I hope this helps you guys out and be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll know the next time I put out another helpful video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye bye for now.